What happens when you combine one of the most popular video games the world has ever known with the most popular single board computer out there? You can find out yourself by turning your Raspberry Pi into a Minecraft server. Hi, this is Phil from Make Tech Easier and this is how to turn your Raspberry Pi into a Minecraft server. Minecraft is the second best selling video game of all time with 122 million people logging on during September 2019 alone. Although you can explore the world of Minecraft solo, some things are more fun with friends. By creating your own Minecraft server, you'll have complete control over your world. You can set your own rules, install mods, and invite all your friends to explore Minecraft with you. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to set up and host a standalone Minecraft server on your local Wi-Fi network using Raspberry Pi. Once this server is up and running, you'll be able to play with anyone else who is connected to your network, ideal if your children or roommates are obsessed with Minecraft. If you want people to connect your Raspberry Pi remotely, then you'll need to complete a few extra steps, which you'll learn about later on in this tutorial. What you'll need. To complete this tutorial, you'll need a Raspberry Pi running Raspbian. If you don't already have Raspbian, then you can grab the latest version and flash it using Etcher. Links in the description. A power cable that's compatible with your Raspberry Pi. An external keyboard and a way to attach it to your Raspberry Pi an HDMI or micro HDMI cable depending on the model of Raspberry Pi that you're using, an external monitor, an Ethernet cable if you're not connecting over Wi-Fi, a laptop or computer running Minecraft Java Edition. Once you've assembled your tools you're ready to build your Minecraft server. Make sure you're running Raspbian. If you haven't already, attach your external keyboard, monitor and any other peripherals to your Raspberry Pi and then plug it into a power source. Once your Raspberry Pi is booted, you'll need to ensure that your version of Raspbian is up to date. Launch a new terminal window by clicking the terminal icon in the Raspbian toolbar and then run the following commands. sudo apt-get update and sudo apt-get upgrade. Raspbian will now download and install any available updates. If prompted, reboot your Raspberry Pi using the following command, reboot. Update Raspbian's memory split. Next, you'll need to tell Raspbian how it should use the available memory using the config tool. You can launch this tool using the following terminal command, sudo raspi config. In the window that appears, navigate to advanced options, memory split, and enter the value 16. Save your changes by clicking OK. Allowing SSH connections, optional. If you ultimately want people to be able to connect your server remotely, then now is the perfect time to enable SSH. In the toolbar, select the Raspberry Pi icon. Navigate to Preferences, Raspberry Pi Configuration. Select the Interfaces tab. Find SSH and select its accompanying Enabled radio button. Save your changes by clicking OK. Reboot Raspberry Pi by clicking the little icon in the upper left corner and navigating to Shut Down Reboot or by running the Reboot command in the terminal. Create a Spigot server. We're going to build our server using Spigot, which is a modified Minecraft server that includes some useful performance optimizations. The first step is making sure that Java is installed on the Raspberry Pi. You can install the default JDK package for Raspbian using the following command, sudo apt install default dash JDK. Next, you need to build the Minecraft server file. For the sake of ease, this tutorial uses a builder's tool that's provided by Spigot. In the terminal window, run the following three commands. Either copy them from the screen or cut and paste them from the description. Create your Spigot server. Again, cut and paste the command from the description. Note that in the last command, Spigot 1.15.2, which at the time of writing was the latest release, is used. If a newer release is available, then update with dash dash rev to reference the latest version. Once Spigot is downloaded, you can launch your server with the following command. Remember to modify the above command if you're using any version other than Spigot 1.15.2. Before launching, the server will ask you to agree to the EULA, End User License Agreement. You can open the EULA in Raspbian's Nano Text Editor using the command nano eula.txt. Inside this file, change false to true and then save your changes using the Control x shortcut followed by Y. Finally, press the Enter key on your keyboard. Now you need to relaunch the server, so reboot the Raspberry Pi by entering the reboot command into the terminal. Your Raspberry Pi will now reboot and when it's back up and running, you'll be ready to connect your server. 
connecting to your Minecraft server. To connect to the Raspberry Pi server, you need to know its IP address. To retrieve this information, open the terminal and run the following command, sudo hostname-i. Launch Minecraft Java Edition on your laptop or computer. Select Play Multiplayer. Your server should appear in the local list automatically, but if you can't locate it, select Add Server, enter the IP address of your Raspberry Pi, and then click Done. You should now be successfully connected to your Minecraft server. Boot to your server automatically. Why go to the hassle of launching your server manually when you can set it to start automatically? To start your server at boot, you will need to create a new service for the Minecraft server. So open a terminal window on your Raspberry Pi and run the following command. In the nano text editor, enter the following information. Once again, cut and paste it from the description if necessary. Save this file using Ctrl X, keyboard shortcut, and then press Y and enter keys when prompted. Now you can enable the service using the following command, sudo systemctl enable minecraft server dot service. And finally, you can start your Minecraft server, sudo systemctl start minecraft server dot service. Your service should now start automatically every time you power up your Raspberry Pi. You can now customise every part of your Minecraft world and play it with friends and family. Currently, your server is only accessible over the local network, but you can allow people to connect to your server from outside using port forwarding. Link to that in the description. Have you set up your own Minecraft server? If so, then we'd love to hear how you're using your server to create unique and interesting Minecraft worlds in the comments section below. Okay, as always, thanks for watching. That's all for now. See you next time.